Welcome to God is Still Speaking. And God is Still Speaking is a devotional series that we have been doing over the last week to answer that question. Is God speaking to me? Like, is God still talking to me? Like, or is this just like a done thing? Like, is my life as a Christian just like walking through a museum of God's former interactions? Or does God still want to interact with me today? And the answer is, yes, he does. And yes, he still is. Let me give you one of the most common ways that God works. And one of the most common ways that God chooses to speak to you. And this one should blow your mind. And it is the fact that God chooses to speak through other people. Namely, through other Christians. This is one of the most fascinating, if not the most fascinating things about what God can do in your life. Is that God can send someone your way and use them in a mighty way to speak to you. I think it's really interesting that uh, sometimes we have hard conversations. And did you notice that some of the hardest conversations in our lives are actually the best conversations? I could give you tons of stories of talks that I had with Pastor Mike and Pastor Ron and, and, uh, over the years. And some of those conversations where, you know, you're doing X, Y, and Z, but you really should be doing A, B, and C. Or a conversation where, hey, you know what, I, I saw the way you were handling this conflict, and you really ought not to think about this person that way. And you ought to look at a person this way. And those conflicts, those conversations, they happen in such rare occurrences that when they do, you have to stop and recognize that the person that's talking to you in a hard way or a person that's bringing God's truth into a situation is also a person that may very well have the very voice of God in that moment. This is powerful stuff. It really, really is. And the book of Proverbs alludes to it. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Profuse are the kisses of an enemy. He says that when a friend, somebody comes alongside you that's truly a friend, speaks truth that might hurt you, but it is truth and it will heal you. It's faithful. It's a good wound. It's a good wound that will help you to get on the right track. The problem is as abundant as those faithful wounds or as, as scarce as those faithful wounds are, the kisses of an enemy are in abundance. And it's unfortunate because this is one of those ways that gets as polluted as people saying that they heard the voice of God themselves. They'll say that a prophet spoke to me. Somebody, that's a big common question. I mean, we're living in the, um, you know, this really crazy time right now. If you're watching this years down the line, we're living in this quarantine time where we're in the middle of this pandemic. And, you know, and I'll tell you what happens. When a lot of weird stuff happens in the world, the weirdos come out to play. I want you to understand. And there are people, and this is one of the things that's heartbreaking as a pastor. And uh, Pastor Mike and I have talked about talking about this. But there are people that claim that they're prophets, or there are people that they're claiming that there are certain offices that they hold, that they are speaking as God's mouthpiece. And they are using their spirituality as a tool to get people to follow them. When in reality, God has nothing to do with their message. There's a lot of deception going on right now. And some of you, you're really, you might be into that. And I pray that God reveals to you that you're into that. Here's what you need to realize. A person that is speaking and it's God that's speaking through them, they're always going to speak truth. It's verifiable truth. How do you verify truth? Through the scriptures. They're speaking truth about the scriptures. If they're speaking truth in consistency with Jesus, if they're speaking truth in consistency with what you know of God's character, his holiness, then they may be God himself speaking. If that happens, don't get mad at that person. If that happens, don't say, oh, yeah, you think you know it all. They don't know anything. It might be that God himself right there has chosen to use this person as his mouthpiece. And if that's the case, you're on holy ground. That's a good thing. And here's a better thing. You might be that person sometime for someone. You might be the person that's going to encourage someone or say the right word at the right time that God uses you to be his mouthpiece in somebody else's life. All this to remind you of one simple truth. No matter how far we've come from Jesus walking on the earth and dwelling with us bodily, God is still speaking now.